Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 12 and 13 of Descending Stories. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. So from what I've been thinking about with especially episodes 10 and 11 going into these last two episodes and the fact that, you know, Bon and Shin have found each other again and eventually they're going to go back home. But then at the same time, um, what's her face has gotten the note that, um, <laughs> Bon is there. And that it's just like, oh, he's finally coming to rescue us. I feel like he's just only going to take Shin and their kid and, and leave her. But then at the same time, something tells me that with these two episodes, this is where Shin's going to die. And it's going to be Bond's fault. And then we're going to, by, by 13, we're going to go back into modern day. And, oh, God. Ugh. Right? Mm. That's what you get. But you care, though. You want to at least go back. You miss that life.
but she sneaks her way in. Well, you got this, though. Shin, you are right about that, but that at the same time, that's because you stopped. If you didn't stop, you would have been on the same level as him. Go have fun. Yeah, go see the woman who, you know, <laughs> the mother of your child out there. But still, have fun. Yeah, you can feel that sunlight.
heard you knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna, you know, bite them in the ass. We'll see how long that lasts. Oh. Just like that, she just fucking left. And, and that's highly rude. Like, damn, you don't even say hi to the, the father of your child. Hell, even your child. Or even Shin. I'm not Shin Bon. Okay. It's about the 48.
Yeah. And he overpaid the debt, which is good. So, yeah, it was a bad thing, but it was also a good thing at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you really want to find her? <laughs> She's still here.
Right. Girl, you mm -mm, you by yourself on that. Oh, shit. What? Oh, my fucking God. Go on, scream for help. Do something. Oh, no, no. He just got you back.
just got him back. Oh my god, you no, no, oh. You gotta be fucking with me. Oh my god. No, no, I don't, I can't watch the next episode now. Oh, that was too much. Everything was working out so good. I'm like, yeah, they're gonna go back home. He's gonna take it. But then, of course, yes, me, she has to come in and oh, one last time, one last time be trying to be in the moment with Bond and I, I get it but oh, damn it no oh I didn't think this would have been the episode that he died I didn't think she was gonna die too I'm thinking it would have just been him I can't even cry because it was just so fucking quick. That is so messed up. So fucking messed up that in the end, he dies because of her. Because he decided to save her. I mean, you know what? And I'm going to say this. I will give props to Shin. Shin did the one thing that he really did in his final moments, which was save the one person that he truly loved besides Bond. But now their kid is alone. And their kid is going to have so much anger and vengeance towards Bond because she's going to blame. This is the reason why she's blamed him so many years for her father's death. Oh my fucking god. I can't. This too much. For for episode 12. Bruh. Too fucking much. And, and then he has to live with that guilt. For the rest of his life. That he, he got to move on. He got to grow old and such. And that Bon and you know. Giddy died at such a young age they that had to be like in their like late 20s early 30s but once again i did not think she was gonna fucking die what the absolute fuck okay go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode 13 Alrighty, episode 13 in three two one go That's why, from what I remember, the pre the preview from episode eleven did not have as much for twelve, because they knew they were killing him in twelve. What the fuck? Oh my god! This whole opening spoiled literally almost everything that she dies drowning in the water. They fall and they die. What the fuck?
full for everybody. I mean, because, like, from the beginning, we knew he was going to not make it. But, once again, the fact that she also died, too, was hella surprising. But the thing is, he died because of her. Because he saved her. He tried to save her in his final moments. He tried to be a really good man and do the right thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. And I get that. You thought it was best. Uh-oh. Woo, them good, them daggers.
Look at how tired he is. Well, unfortunately, I'll have to wait until he comes back. Well, I mean, it's not her fault that she talks to everyone. See how 100% she's so similar to her dad. Except, you know, she's not lazy. She really just is a hard worker. She looks so much like him. Oh, she's so pretty.
Oh, I mean. What? What? But hold up, babe. Who, who's the father? I, I mean, you can't... Now, look, with your parents, it was different. But who was the father? And no, though. Oh, this just complicates everything. Jesus Christ, girl. Please don't let her die in the second half of the show. He's gonna worry about you though. See, with Bond, I mean, yeah, you ain't Bond, don't, ain't got the best relationship though. But you're older now. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Out. We're going out. He's still pretty though. Jesus, oh my God.
He is, all right. Of course he did. That's how we ended. Whoa, wait, 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 okay, okay. Uh, I mean, and I get it because, I, and let me, you really kind of see it more in this episode than the first time we see um, Yuto. He, he acts a lot like Shane. Hello, puppy. Um, so yeah, it makes the most sense for him to take on. Shin's name, but oh, I thought the daughter would have been like, let me do that. But of course, because the fact is that the world of this and saying that, you know, hey, you should have been born a man instead of a woman and such that you would have been able to inherit your father's name in this. But oof. And the fact that she is not pregnant, oh my god. It's like the, the same cycle that happened with her parents is now happening with her. And I'm scared that she's going to die in the second half of this show. I, I don't know. I, I, have, I, I have no freaking clue. But honestly, like, for these last two episodes for the first half of this show... Overall, the first half of this show was very interesting, was a little slow at times, very truly, but I understand the reason why and how it was supposed to go. Well, she has a boy. I think that's a boy, but that could be a girl. Like, th just the trouble that these characters are about to get into the second half of the show? Oh, I have no idea. But, like, th this was a lot, especially for these last two episodes for the first half. And seeing that, because, like, my, my thing is we all knew, number one, that Shin was going to die by the end of, the by the end of Act 1. That was the biggest thing. 
And then for Bond, Bond will possibly die by the end of Act 2. We all know that, that like he wants to have someone inherit his name before he dies. So we know that both Matsuda and shit, I mean, wrong person, Matsuda and Bond will be dying before the second half of this show is over. Possibly. I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully their accident is as tragic as what's her face's parents were because that truly hurt. I didn't think I was expecting that more in this episode rather than in 12. But then something kind of told me when I, I looked at the time and I was like, oh, we got 28 minutes of this. I was like, oh, because this and freaking Saki, both of y'all had like a 30 minute episode. And so I'm sitting here thinking, well, why is this 28 minutes long? You know, maybe something's good. Something good's going to happen. But no, something bad happened in it. I do also like the fact with the ending, we now are, once again, in modern day. We're not in the past anymore. So we can't really show those same characters now. We're only showing two who are still currently alive, but now they're older. And there's only really four of them left, plus a baby. So, but really, it does make me wonder, what in the world is all going to happen in the second half of this show? So, obviously, if I probably have time tonight after I come home from work, I will probably end up starting it so that I don't have to do it next week. Because I know these last couple of weeks, especially with the last two episodes, because um, I think it's almost been like a month since I've watched the last two episodes, the last couple of weeks have been very hectic, especially even this week. This This should be probably the end of my crazy hellish weeks because of the fact is, you know, Last week I had to work Thursday and Friday, working my butt off, and then today I'm kind of also working my butt off because originally, like I always say, I am off on Fridays, but my boss needed me to come in due to the fact is that my coworker had to go and do something. So, of course, I'm just replacing her stuff. But, I mean, seriously, this was really good, but very tragic, and I feel like we're going to see even more tragic moments, but happy moments at the same time in the second half. But... Other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards the first half of Descending Stories. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Turn Bachelor Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes, I'm guessing, either 14, if 14 is an hour long, just like I think episode 1 was, or 14 and 15 for the second half of this show. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.